You guys seen it here first. You guys read the title, you know what we're doing, man. Um, guys, we gotta get the Mamaloski started. It's about that time. She's about ready. We got pretty much everything done. We just need a few more touches that we gotta add. So we'll go ahead and do that first. Then um, we'll get this old oil out of here. Throw on our new oil. Um, oil should be on its way from Amazon. So you guys will see that pull up as soon as that gets here. Uh, we'll get that oil in and we'll see if she cranks up, fellas. As far as everything though, you can see everything's pretty much good to go. Pretty much done, we got everything on. Um, last things we're waiting on is getting this E85 sensor hooked up and um getting also getting this e85 uh fuel filter on and after that we're pretty much done with the whole engine process mechanical stuff and the rest will be exterior and interior for the truck so let's get this going we'll do this first and then get it started so here's the old filter we'll be changing out um we're just gonna go ahead and get some a6 fittings on there we'll show you guys those right now it is a tight spot so we'll see if we could uh we'll see if we can manage Once you got that loose, it's just gonna be one bolt right there. And that should uh, loosen up your filter and should come on out. It's actually gonna be two. That one we just took off and the one up here is a little hidden by this wire. So after taking out both of those, it should be good. got the old one out now we got to cut those lines and then we'll go ahead and insert these uh, tube sleeves 6 inch tube sleeves and then these are all the tools you're gonna need so we'll go ahead and show you that real quick so right now we're just gonna go ahead and cut the tubes so we go ahead and get those other sleeves on then we'll have to flare it as well Just like that. That's one. Then we'll go ahead and do the other side, which is right there. I'm point at it. Right there. Yes, sir. We got our oil coming in right now as we speak. So as soon as he drops that off, we'll go ahead and do that after we finish that fuel filter. We should be good to go. There it is, got our package right here. So I'll go ahead and show you guys what kind of oil I got. You know we had to get that, had to get that Vaveline VR1 racing oil. I ordered it because it's kind of hard to find in the store. So here it is, we got six quarts of that. As you can see, you know we had to go with the full synthetic, 10W30. You could do 5W30 as well, you could do either one. So as soon as I, like I said, as soon as we finish with that fuel filter, go ahead and get that in. We got to get the other liquids in as well, coolant, and uh, should be ready to start up, fellas. Should be ready. So we're still trying to figure out a way to move that second line. Um, that's giving us a little bit of trouble. In the meantime, we got the oil, uh, we got the oil draining. Get that all nice and drained, change that filter. Let that finish draining, we'll put in the new oil. So you had to get some of that room. To get room to that line, we had to go ahead and move the ABS. As soon as we move that, we should be able to get to that line and get those tools in there to go ahead and cut that. All right, there we go. We were able to get that ABS bracket out of there. That gave us enough room to go ahead and cut that line. So we'll go ahead and do that. 
then we can move on to the next. There we go, got that one off. Now we just gotta clean them up a little bit. Then we'll go ahead and add the fittings. So we already went ahead and test fitted this one. This one's slightly longer, but also slightly thinner. So because it's longer, we're gonna have to go ahead and adjust those lines so that they plug in pretty good on each side. So we'll probably have to cut a little more on each side and then go ahead and slip that in. So right now we'll go ahead and flare that one. So now that that's leveled nicely, we'll go ahead and get it flared. These tools will go ahead and flare that for you and then we'll be able to slip on that, um, that fitting. There we go, just like that. If I touch it against that. Got a nice flare on there. That was a good flare. Oh, seal. Seals nicely. Should seal. We'll find out. There we go. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the other side. Then we can go ahead and connect that filter. We should be good to go. So we'll go ahead and connect that side so we can see how much um, we have to adjust to the other side that we have to cut off. So we'll get down connected. Then we'll see how it fits. There we go, he's gonna finish up flaring that other side to get that other fitting on. And once he's done, we'll be able to go ahead and finish connecting the, uh, the new fuel filter. Just got the new oil filter in. So now we can go ahead and throw in that new oil. And we that much closer, fellas. And that's pretty much it for the filter. Those fittings slid right on. Now we're just, now we just gotta tighten them up and then uh, get that bracket back on for that ABS. And that's pretty much it. That'll be pretty much it. Now we just gotta go ahead and put in all our liquids. Coolant, oil, filters on. And then we'll be able to go ahead and get her started, guys. Hear that chop for the first time. All right, that's pretty much done. Got that bracket back on, got the ABS back together. Fuel filter tightened up. We'll go ahead and throw in our oil. The rest of our coolant and that should be pretty much it guys we'll be able to get it started um at first it might be a little quiet because i do still have the muffler on um uh later i'll probably try to do a video later on on with the muffler off so it'll be kind of like a straight pipe still with the cats but no muffler just to get a little more of that cam sound but we'll see how it sounds we'll see how the cam sounds with the muffler on so let's check it out man let's do it let's do it all right, there we go, putting our oil in. Got that, got that blue VR1 oil, blue funnel, blue oil. It's only right. Now we just need that sponsor, Raveline. Like Bud said, we need that sponsor. So we'll go ahead and get the rest of that oil in, then get some coolant, and it fire her up. Yes, sir. Ay ta. Come a long way. All right, we're gonna go ahead and um, Fill up with some water first, just to, just in case we have any leaks. We have the coolant, just checking on water first. Pretty sure everything should be fine though. Got all our oil in. Now just top it off with that. We should be good to go. Yep, so as far as all mechanical mods, that's pretty much it. Uh, we got everything hooked up. Right now we're just doing some last minute checks. Make sure everything's nice and tight. All our hoses, fittings, everything. Um, the last, last thing we have is pretty much just wiring up the E85 sensor, but should run fine without it for now. We'll get that hooked up later. And yep, go ahead and get it started right now, guys. Ooh, here we go. Real quick, we adjusted our, our um, pressure regulator. We went ahead and adjusted our pressure regulator at, um, so when it's at, was it full throttle? Yeah. Full throttle or like, or in throttle? Or like yeah. 58. So for in throttle or full throttle, it's gonna be about 58. And then um, 
So you wanna make sure you go ahead and do that while the uh, fuel pump is running. So we just went ahead and um, we, we just prepped the wire. Yeah, we just jumped it right here in the fuse box. Just got a wire, then yeah. jumped the fuel pump. One of those. It's one of these. We just got a wire and jumped it. So it was running continuously because with this fuel pump, it's gonna, if you just um, turn the key to power or accessory mode, the pressure is just gonna drop. So if you have that, um, if you just hook up a wire and have that fuel pump continuously running, um, you'll be able to read your PSI. So like I said, full throttle and throttle is gonna be about 58. Once you turn on the car, it's gonna vacuum it and then it should drop down to where it's supposed to idle at. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Obviously we need to tune it, but she's sounding healthy, sounding good. It's a little loud because we have to adjust one of the headers that have a little leak in it. But other than that, there she is. What y'all think? There it is, she's starting to break in that cam. Starting to sound a little healthier. Gonna sound a lot better with a tune. Check it out. No, keep it not bad, guys. Come a long way. Obviously here in California, I want it to be a little quieter. I'm gonna put a, a white pipe, obviously one with a valve. So it's a, when I want it to be loud, have it open. When I need it to be quiet. Like right now, it's not too bad, but you know, I would still like it to be a little quieter. But there it is. Give it a bit of gas. Nice little top. seen it though man that's pretty much it for the cam for the whole engine process um if you guys really want to see that e85 wiring i'll put that in a different video um up next is i need to go get it tuned so that's gonna be pretty much it for this video man you guys see the mama Loski? she's coming she's coming that's pretty much it guys thank y'all for watching see y'all in the next video